Porch Fest is a day of music, community, and fellowship in the Skinker to Bolivar neighborhood. And it's an opportunity for us to, to showcase our neighborhood, showcase the music of St. Louis, which we have such a rich music tradition here, and to do it in a way that includes everybody. Some students had heard about this Porch Fest concept that uh, started in Ithaca, New York, where Cornell University is. And Ithaca is one of those towns with, um, you know, in addition to having a great university, it's got great houses. So the students saw this as a way to build a bridge between the students and the community. Wash U students a number of years ago, we're in our fifth year now, they like this idea, they like this concept, so they came to the community council and said, how can we do this? The, the Skinker to Bolivar Community Council is a fixture here in the Skinker to Bolivar neighborhood. So we don't just do Porch Fest, right? There are a number of other programs throughout the year. And one of the things that we consistently do in the summer is we do a concert series just on our, on our main stage area. So there was already an awareness among students that this was a council that, you know, liked to bring music to the neighborhoods. So we started slow those first couple of years, and now here we are today with 26 porches, 40 bands, music going from 1 to 7 p.m. So it's, it's, it's a full day of music, and it's a, there's, a, there's a lot of community energy around it. Skinker de Bolivar area is an area that encompasses on the north, Delmar. On our south would be Forest Park. On our east would be de Bolivar, of course, and on our west would be Skinker. So Skinker to Bolivar is really in the shadow of Forest Park, Washington University. We have the Del Mar Loop to the north of us. So we're, we're kind of nestled in this really great and vibrant part of the city of St. Louis. So it's our neighbors on porches and bands, and we're, we're, we're building friendships and community through music. We want to show off our neighborhood and, and everything that it has uh, to offer. So it's, it's very self-directed because if you look at each time slot, we have multiple acts on multiple porches throughout the neighborhood. So anyone who comes here is going to have to make some choices. And we try to make that easy for them. There's different areas of the map so you can get a sense. Maybe you want to chart your own path. But we also give you a little sense of the genre too. So, and our genres are very wide, right? So we've got, we've got hard rock, we've got R&B, we've got rap, we've got a chiptune band, which is something new for me this year. We've got dance bands, we've got singer-songwriters, we've got dance troops, uh, we've got just DJs. So it, it's a whole wide range of music. You can pick a very different day from anybody else going through Porch Fest. Follow the map or listen for the music. What I've seen that I'm really excited about is the diversity of, of acts this time. As we're growing, our, our music catalog is growing, and more uh, band acts are now performing on stage. We have a second line with the same boogie band that's going to march in today. We have three main acts. We used to have one main major act on the main stage, but now we have three, so it's, it's growing. So I played for the first time last year, and then it was such an awesome event, so I wanted to come back again this year. It really has become a really put together sort of organization and festival, so I think it's really cool and I just like to be a part of it. I mean, honestly, I think it's just a cool concept. It's almost like you've deconstructed the concert, right? So instead of the concert being in a formal venue, you know, now it's, it's, it's on someone's porch, right? I understand they have Porch Fest Kansas City, I understand there's Porch Fest Minneapolis, so we're not really a connected network, but we've all kind of adopted the moniker and we all seem to follow kind of a similar plan. It seems like what you need is you need a, a vibrant, active neighborhood. Uh, it helps to have a university and that partnership. It helps to have great sponsors and partners who really invest their, their time and talent and money into the neighborhood. And you just got to have an enthusiastic core of volunteers. If you've got that, you can probably do Porch Fest in your town. <laughs>